Why is he slaying? I'm sorry, Mommy. channel today is sunday it's a rainy day i'm getting ready for church i normally don't wear makeup for church i say this all the time because i'm a crier <laughs> i hope i don't cry this off but um we have a lot to do in today's vlog and i'm just so tired of seeing myself barefaced so when i have the opportunity to i like to do my makeup okay <laughs> um i'm just doing like a quick beat like just the concealer look I used to do this all the time when I was going to work, but now I don't do it as often and I'm like, what what products did I use to make it look like so flawless? I'm like, it don't look how it normally looks. But anyway, <laughs> how are you guys doing? I hope well. I'm so excited to say that Princess Polly is sponsoring this video. So thank you so much to Princess Polly for allowing me to show you guys some new winter inspired pieces as our last haul of 2022. If you all want to shop anything I show in this haul, you can use my discount code BREELIN to get money off your order. Also, Princess Polly ships from within the United States. It's free standard shipping, which is about three to six days to the U.S. on orders over $50. Lastly, Princess Polly offers afterpay and shop pay to all U.S. customers, so definitely check it out. Let's get into it. You guys are avid double majors. You know that I've never done a Princess Polly haul on my channel before, so I'm so excited to see some of these pieces in real life and try everything on for you guys. Okay, you guys are gonna be shocked about this, but I got a pair of jeans. Here's a close up on the packaging. Everything is super cute. Now that the mom jeans are really in style, I figured that I need a pair of cute jeans that I can put on to go with any. And jeans are really good in the winter months. Okay, here's a look at the jeans on. I will say that I don't know what size I am in pants. I went up to a size eight because I thought that was my size. And I think I could probably get away with the six to be honest. Also, you guys know I'm tall, so these are very short on me. But I will say I do like the wash. It's a little bit like different. It's not like your typical wash. As you guys can see here on the waistband, it's asymmetrical. And to, honestly, these are pretty comfortable to be jeans. They're still thick, but they are comfortable. Look at the packaging in this item. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the pieces that I got and I was like, you know what? It would be so bomb if I had one of these in my closet, but I didn't quite know exactly like what I was gonna style it with. So I have to play around with it more and see how I would, but I just feel like having a leather blazer like in your wardrobe is a necessity especially for the winter months I just feel like I needed one like it just would be better than a black cardigan just to like add to your wardrobe and just add some pizzazz to it you guys know me I normally would probably wear like the blazer off the shoulder like this 
different than a leather jacket but it's like a blazer you know so it's a little bit more smart which I really describe my style as like you know preppy smart but it's like it's giving nighttime preppy I think this is really really cute this was just like a staple that I needed in my wardrobe These corsets are really in right now and of course a bodysuit is my personal favorite even though this may not be like wintry again it's really good for layering and it's just really really cute this will probably be in my wardrobe for years to come just because it's like a really good staple look how seamless this bodysuit just fit into this look I got mine in a size 4 and it fits perfectly as you can see it goes really well with skirts which is exactly what I need it for but just in general it's really nice for for layering. I'm actually really loving all black looks right now. I used to be obsessed with wearing black and white at one point in time because it's just like you can just put on different black and white pieces and it'll just always look good and I'm kind of getting back to that because I mean this isn't an outfit that I really planned or thought about too much but you just put it on and like it kind of just all looks good you know. I'm obsessed. Look at this big thick chunky sweater. Oh my gosh the quality of this is unreal here the sweater with this basic look so you guys can see how to style it oh my gosh i'm literally obsessed oh, i love this sweater get into it like it is so thick it feels really really good on and I love this because this is something that like I will realistically wear like I will realistically like wear this to church wear this to run an errand wear this like to class like and you're still cute but you're comfortable I love the duality of it like the dark blue and the light blue together I also love how it's kind of cropped it's a little bit shorter I feel like a lot of sweaters that I have are really long which I love as well but this is just something that's different really really cute I like this one. <laughs> I've realized how much I wear scarves and how it really just takes your outfit to the next level, especially in the winter months. You guys know this is like my favorite color palette, dark brown and pink. So I figured that this would be really, really cute. Even with like these sweatpants that I'm wearing right now, this would be really cute to wear to run some errands and just put like a coat or a jacket over top of this. I love this so much. It's fashionable, it adds color to your wardrobe, but also like it's practical because it'll keep you warm. It doesn't matter what time of the year, I will always love me a good mini dress. This one is really cute because it's dark brown and it has like this bustier corset type of style top, which is really, really trendy right now. I really love this dress. <laughs> More than I thought that I would, I thought it was just gonna be something like simple. I mean, it is. It's a really like simple and casual dress that just has a little bit more to it. This like underwire here, I don't have anything like this where there's like an actual underwire here so you don't have to wear a bra with it you just get up and go really and it's it just it just does what it needs to do it fits really well it's not too short nice long sleeve cover up your chest like while you're out and then when you get there you can take it out and be like BAM ready to party just playing around in my closet and I also feel like this dress would make as like a bodysuit so I put this cute little skirt over top of it you can see that you can wear it both ways which is really nice you can get your bang for your buck I was literally playing around I feel like it would look good with this skirt as well a little brown on brown moment and if I didn't mention it does have a zipper on the side I didn't know that when I was first putting it on <laughs> like I said corsets are so in right now are you not obsessed I literally I wanted this so bad because I just thought it was so cute and then in a brown color but I cannot wait to show you guys how I would actually style this because even though this would be really cute to wear by itself I also think this is really nice to layer on top of something so you still get the vibes of it but then you can take it up to another notch just wait till I style okay, so I just kind of threw together this outfit based off of what I had envisioned I kind of like the leather on leather look you know like the leather bodysuit I know that I like the idea of wearing it underneath a button up like this like this is why it's perfect for the winter months because it's really nice to layer with it keeps you warm but then it's like fashion you know so I paired it with this mini skirt which I think is really cute but I think it would also look really good with pants as well so I'm gonna play around with it again make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at freeland.hunt because when this piece hits the gram it's gonna go up I already know it because this is just so cute and they have this and black and brown I have so many looks in the vault for you guys <laughs> you have no idea I'm just waiting to wear them all so we weren't gonna do this whole haul without something that was pink <laughs> so cute just had a whole moment like <laughs> this dress I mean it was not that difficult to get in but it fits let me stop talking and just take a moment and just look at me <sighs> so this is like a dream dress 
I know this isn't very like winter like or whatever even though it's long sleeves so like if your birthday was in the winter time honey this is giving birthday dress this is just giving like I saw this dress and it's one of those things where it's like I don't know where I'm gonna wear it I don't know when I'm gonna wear it but I just need to have this dress in my closet for when it's time for me to pop out to this magnitude of just feminine angelic glory <laughs> like i'm obsessed with this dress it's so beautiful it's so pretty first of all i love 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 the color i mean it's so excuse me <laughs> so cute it fits really well i mean i'm like do i want to wear this like to my graduation because i'm graduating in a couple of months i just love like this top area right here and then you guys saw earlier like if you want it to be an off the shoulder moment you can do that too i like it but like i usually really love off the shoulder things i think this is really cute but i feel like i would wear it on the shoulder just because it feels a little bit more secure that way the sleeves are nice and long i love this dress i'm so glad that i got it because I'm saving it for something good. I can literally go on and on about this dress because it's like my favorite thing of the haul, obviously, but also my favorite thing that I've gotten in a really long time. So definitely make sure you guys check out Princess Polly if you have not already. As you can see, they have amazing, beautiful, unique, trendy pieces. So if you're looking to add some new pieces to your wardrobe during this winter season, this is the perfect brand to shop at. I'll leave a link to everything that I showed in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's get back to the vlog. It is the Sunday after Thanksgiving, so we really haven't talked in a long time. Um, I wanted to make a vlog like what I did for an entire week with like no school or something like that. My skin just does not look good recently. Like, I just haven't been consistent with my um, skincare routine. I'm gonna do better though. I'm gonna do better. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to do like a week in my, not a week in my life, but like this week's vlog was going to be everything that I have been like procrastinating doing because I couldn't do it at the same time as uh, my program. And as you guys, I think the clip that I put in the beginning of this was my final, my last final, which was on Monday. So just about a week from today. And I had so many things on my to-do list that I wanted to do um, again that I couldn't really do during the school year per se um, if you guys are like unfamiliar I'm officially on break now for the entire fall semester I do not go back until January but this isn't really like fully a break because I'm officially on dedicated MCAT studying time um, but the way that I kind of in my mind mapped out my timeline is that I gave myself this week of Thanksgiving off so after Monday's exam I was just supposed to relax and again just get done the little things around the house or in my body or in life that I needed to get done and then on Thursday was Thanksgiving my plan is to start MCAT studying on Monday now today is Sunday <laughs> and I have done just about nothing that I plan to do on my list and not because I think I, I'm giving myself grace because honestly, I can't call myself lazy. And you have to rest. <laughs> At the end of the day, like you have to rest or else you're going to get burnt out. I think that I handled myself very well throughout the semester. I was going, 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 going. But as soon as I had a chance to rest, my body was like, oh, you're going to take this rest. So yeah, I, I didn't I didn't do anything these past couple of days. Um, as per your suggestions on Instagram, I started watching Manifest again. You guys know I used to be obsessed with Manifest and uh, I think like I finished season two and then they came back for season three and I, I didn't come back with them. <laughs> but now I'm back and so now I'm like on season three even though I think they're on season four now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is getting really good, Charles. I've been watching that, honey. The fire stick in the living room, that is like, oh, it, ugh. You know what? It is coming together. I think just literally doing the concealer under the eyes and the bronzer, I forget it, it does come together. If you just put a little bit of powder on the rest of your face. Okay, I'm remembering now. I'm glad it's coming together because I was getting a little worried. Like, whew. oh, let's do some cream blush. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. You know, you know how I am. I'm so sorry. Oh, 
but yeah so I gave myself a break and I really was just resting one thing that I did work on a lot which I'm really proud about and by the time you guys see this it's probably Christmas because I'm so behind on my videos I'm like I'm uploading consistently but they're just like so behind that um yeah I think I just uploaded the homecoming vlog and it's after Thanksgiving but it's okay I'm sure y'all just want to see the content the thing that I was working on during this break of mine <laughs> I can't believe I have a week of winter break but the thing that I was working on during this week is my passion project you guys know that previously when I was competing in the Miss America organization I created an initiative for the maternal health crisis and I basically just did some work to separate it from the Miss America organization and just make it a thing of my own as I continue on my advocacy. I officially have a name for my initiative. It's called Birth Equity for All. And it's about the education and the advocacy for the maternal health crisis. It has an Instagram page. That's what took me a really long time getting a logo, creating graphics, just figuring out exactly what I wanted to do with the page. And now it's up and running so you guys can follow it at Birth Equity for as in the number for all I'm gonna use that platform to share with you guys all things birth equity maternal health crisis so educational things that you guys can do advocacy things that you guys can do events that you guys can attend and you can also keep up with me as I'm planning these events doing these advocacy things etc etc blah 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 <laughs> You can see more of it on the Instagram page. I'll have it linked down below. Definitely check it out and just give it a follow. That'll definitely help out the credibility of the page. It's been something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, but just didn't have the time to focus on that while also in my program. And I'm not going to be posting like every single day on there, but hopefully once a week I can upload like a statistic or I think about this stuff all day, every day. So I think it's a really great way for me to put what's in my head like out there in the world to help other people to inform other people educate other people raise awareness raise funds all those great things so definitely check it out especially if you guys loved my social impact initiative with miss america it's basically that but instead of it being connected with miss america it's just connected with me and hope you guys support me with it i will say i had one really big thing on my to-do list that i didn't get done and it was take a full length MCAT practice exam. So like I said, I start MCAT prep on Monday. So my plan was to take the diagnostic test on Wednesday. But realistically speaking, I finish my exams, my final exams, four back to back exams. Before my exam week, I had a whole quiz week, like I've been going for the whole semester. At the end of the day, I was tired. I was tired. And I listened to my body, I listened to my mind, and I was like, I literally cannot bring myself to sit down for a seven and a half hour, eight hour test two days after I just finished my finals. I feel like my score is not going to be a great, it's not going to be indicative of my abilities. And if I start off with a really low score, it's going to mess up my mental going into my studying period. And I literally can't have that. So I've procrastinated. And now the first day of studying is actually going to be taking the test. But I'm okay with that. I really just am. So with that being said, today is basically like our last day of winter break, <laughs> which is crazy. Once I start studying on Monday, the countdown begins and I have six weeks until my test date, which is January 14th. So I'm definitely nervous, but I also haven't like sat down and really started anything. I've been procrastinating like heavy and hard for the MCAT. Once I sign up for my Kaplan stuff, all that stuff, then I'll start to feel a little bit just better about everything. Today feels like a gloss day. Okay, there we go. A very simple look just so that we look cute on camera welcome to the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed that super long spiel and now i'm running late for church i have no idea why my nose is running like so bad right now everything was fine until i started to put makeup on what's up with that so anyway on today's to-do list as our last day of winter break <laughs> basically just going to oh my gosh my nose is literally running I was trying to say that the other day when I saw my mom for Thanksgiving, she gave me her skinny Christmas tree. So I'm going to put that up today. That way we're in the spirit while we're studying for the MCAT. And um, I need to get bulbs for the tree. They're not called bulbs. What are they called? What are they called? Ornaments. 
I need to get ornaments for the tree. And um, I really was contemplating whether or not I wanted to buy a tree or not to get the ornaments because I really just like don't have enough time. But you guys know how I feel about holidays and how I love the aesthetic and the feelings and the vibes of it all. But my family just doesn't like celebrate it to the max that I want them to. So it's like, okay, you have your own apartment, you need to decorate it for Christmas. I know, but at the same time, it's like I don't have the time or the money to do that myself. So I'm going to do a little bit of it, get the ornaments, put up a tree and that way it at least feels a little bit Christmassy because I will literally be in this apartment for the next six weeks straight. Anyway, let me show you guys my outfit of the day for church. I love this. It's giving like Fran Drescher, which is like, I literally just put this together. I mean, it's it's very simple. It's I didn't do too much. So I'm packing my bag. I've got my Bible and my, I don't know what you call this, my prayer book, my prayer journal. Oh my gosh, you guys. We played this game during Thanksgiving. I forget what it's called. I think it's called Dollars. And it's basically like everybody has three dollars. You probably know about this. Or it's called ones. No, it's called ones. And um, or it's called something else. But I think we played it the very, the very ghetto black way. And instead of using um, the chips, we use dollar bills. But I think a lot of people played that way as well. Anyway, the point is that it's kind of like a gambling game a little bit. And I don't really gamble. I mean, gamble. It's like a. It's kind of like a card game with like money included, but it's no cards. Like a die game. Anyway, I won. <laughs> So I've got some tithing to give. <laughs> um, it's just $40, but it's just funny because it's like all in ones. So it looks like she got money. <laughs> I'm going to go grocery shopping. I have like no food in my refrigerator. I still have a ton of leftovers from Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. So I don't really need stuff right now, but it's going to run out in the middle of the week. So I don't want to like not have any food. And I also don't have like breakfast food. Before I go, actually, I need to look at my freezer and refrigerator because this is the key to making sure you don't overbuy anything. I need vegetables. I need vegetables. And okay, I also keep a running grocery list on my phone, so that should be accurate. And then look at my little my Christmas tree. We're gonna put this up later when I come back. Then you guys, oh my goodness. So um, Kiss has been sending me PR packages and I didn't know it because they were sending it to my mom's address. They didn't have this new one. And I'm like, oh my God. I'll, we'll unbox that when I get home as well. Cart, by the way, I got it off of Amazon. I'm gonna bring this with me because I have a fresh delivery that I need to pick up from the front desk. And y'all, I was so lazy this past week. When I tell you that I have not left my house, I left for Thanksgiving, but long story short, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I have two freshly boxes that I need to pick up because the first one came on Sunday, but like I was studying for my, I was studying for my exam. I get my zone and I didn't want to go downstairs. And then Monday after my exam, I went to sleep. And then Tuesday, I just like didn't, I, I didn't want to get up. I wasn't ready. Like. I told you guys when I'm taking my exams, like I just look a mess and I was like, I don't feel like getting myself together in order to go downstairs. And then Wednesday happened and I was procrastinating so hard trying not to go to, try not to take my full length practice exam. I didn't even leave the bed on Wednesday. Thursday I got up, I finally like did deep conditioning on my hair, detangled, shaved my whole body, skincare, face mask, cleaned the whole entire like apartment, like t I was like on it, then I went back for Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. And then long story short, I haven't picked up my freshly meal from last week and now the one from this week is here. So I have a lot of pre-prepared meals, so I won't necessarily be cooking a lot this week. I'm gonna head to church and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> so i'm back and that was an amazing service like i don't even have any work first it was like 2 30 like we were there for such a long time because oh my nose is running <laughs> um just the sh the prophetic word and just the the i i don't have any words like i'm still like at shock but i just wanted to come on here and say that i'm so glad that i came to church today because i feel so spiritually prepared for 
this next chapter and this next season if you guys have been watching my recent vlogs you know that I've been like really scared about going back to setting for the MCAT and closing one season that was good for me good to me and then opening up another season but I just received so much peace and clarity and I just I I feel ready now like I now I feel ready um and I just, I don't have enough words to articulate exactly what just happened there, but I'm just gonna say get your butt in a church. <laughs> if you haven't been to church in a while, or if it's Sunday, or if it's Saturday, anything that you da 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 da, get into church. Pull up a sermon real quick. Get yourself, in, no, honestly, you have to get yourself into the house of God, because it really makes a difference. I'm starving um like I said it's 2 30 I should have I always try and eat before I go to church and I never do and then I ended up being and then I end up being so starving for the rest of my day I'm in the mood for checkers but the checkers actually no there is a checkers right there okay which one I really actually need to get my car washed because I parked in that horrible spot again not this time but the time before Thanksgiving when I drove my car and I knew better but I was hoping that maybe it would turn out differently it did it bad news so one of the things that I came here for and y'all gonna think that I'm crazy but I came here for another Starbucks cup because they just had a new drop and they have this really cute like ombre one it's like a pink ombre but they don't have it here. I made sure the one that I went to last time that was closer to the city or in the city. I didn't go to that one because it didn't have anything else like it sucked. But um, I guess because nobody goes there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've been really wanting to get one of these. I only have my size. Have you guys seen these? These are like the aligned tanks. I should do an extra small. I think a small should be good. So let me get this. But anyway, so yeah, unfortunately. Oh, they have more colors. Black and extra small. But I have to get it. I have to get it. This is what I've literally been wanting so bad because I'm like. Let me try the two first, see if I like those. Okay. Ooh, they have these over right here. Now, I don't need to be balling out in Target. Now. That's what we're not about to do. Tell you guys i haven't worked out in a pretty long time um again i just had my finals time and i was focusing on my finals and then it was thanksgiving and i was like there's no point in me trying to force myself <laughs> to work out Ooh. i really want a new mug ten dollars ew why is this my color There's so many people around. Everybody go away. <laughs> I got my first Starbucks drink in like a really long time. I'm gonna start collecting the Starbucks cups. I just think it's a really fun thing to do. I drink out of them all the time, but with water. I've got checkers. I have itis. I have a lot I need to do today. So I decided to give me coffee. I really wanted to try this sugar cookie one. They didn't have it. So far, this Target is like, oh no, but I did get those two in my tanks. So. Hmm, pretty good, considering. Isn't it crazy, you guys? I went from like never drinking coffee and now I'm ordering a Starbucks drink. <laughs> We're in the Christmas area. Let's 
these are some options. I want my tree to be gold because I think I'm just doing like gold for the, the Christmas season. These look like they're in horrible condition. Which is really cute because it has like pink details and obviously you guys know I love pink. Um, but it's like pink and gold. So my tree would be pink and gold. It costs the same, $15. Comment down below, all gold or pink and gold? Which one? I feel like I've never bought ornaments in my entire life. That's like telling, isn't it? Oh wait, there's some more over there. These are really cute. I do need a tree skirt. Oh, there Aww, this is cute. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. What if y'all are watching this on Christmas because I'm that behind in my videos? I pray that's not the case. I think this is really cute. I don't know where I'm going to put this. But I'm going to get it. And I should probably go soon because now I'm starting to get crazy. <laughs> this is really cute. I think I'm going to put this on my gallery wall. Okay. So I, should, I don't need both though. This is really cute, but I think I'm going to put this on my gallery wall, and then I'm going to move this around for the day. I love this. So cute. And it's only $5. $10. Tree topper. So much to this stuff. It's like one thing at a time, you know? Santa going down the chimney. <laughs> On today's episode of A Work in Progress. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. Aren't these so cute? Something about like the velvet and the deep red. Oh, they have one in white. Oh, they tried to hide this white one. Why do I want this? This is just so cute to me. You guys have to teach me how to do Christmas. Like you have to come along with me and let me know. Oh, <laughs> hello. So I wouldn't say that was an unsuccessful Target trip. I would say, wow, stop trying to make this about you. You're not the center of attention right now, windshield wipers, okay? This is about me and my Target trip. <laughs> I believe that Target did exactly what it always does and it told me what I was supposed to get from Target. I went in there, I wanted my Starbucks cup. <laughs> I did not get my Starbucks cup. I did get some Starbucks. Let me tell you guys, this is probably the first time I've had caffeine in about a week. I don't think I had one when I took my other exam, my last exam. So I think I've been feeding. <laughs> I think yeah i'm like oh i'm alive again this is what's been wrong with me i really keep telling myself like when i'm having my days where i don't want to get out of bed i just need to make myself a coffee because then i'll have energy and then i'll want to get things done but when i'm in the bed and i'm so tired like as soon as i wake up or like i relax for a little bit if i try to have a slow morning when i don't have that much to do that day then i'll end up falling asleep and it's just like i just feel like i've not been wasting my days because they really have been used to just get me back again in the right headspace. It, it's allowed me to rest. Like it's a good, it's good that I've been able to rest. But I also want to make sure that I'm not. It's a, it's a balance between resting and burnout. Like there's something in between that I need to figure out. This Target doesn't have a Ulta in it, which is also good because, mind you, it's you know Sunday after Thanksgiving. So yes, I went Black Friday shopping, not in person but online because nowadays you don't have to leave your home. And I didn't need a lot of things. I honestly got a lot of skincare, and um, I got some clothing items, just a little something, something, just to scratch the itch of a shopaholic. So in my next vlog, I'll show you guys when everything comes in. But yeah, can you see it's getting dark outside already? Crazy. I remember one of my coworkers telling me about how I think the shortest day of the year is sometime. Oh no, I've been to this TJ Maxx before. This is not a good TJ Maxx. But I'm here, so I'm just gonna stop in and see if I can find something. And then I need to go grocery shopping. And I just don't wanna be out all day because I do have things I need to do when I get home. 
and I don't want to be so tired that all I want to do is lay down because that's what I normally do. Look at this raindrop is right on the middle of my backup camera, but it's okay. I'm still a backup boss, Barbie, babe. I still did it. Okay. I used to back up for years without a backup camera. I do this. Okay. I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing the most right now. Uh, let me go into the TJ Maxx. I'm gonna go in and see if I can find anything. I'm basically just looking for a tree skirt because I didn't see a white one in Target and I want a white one. to get it it was so cute um i just feel like out of all christmas things i really like the grinch it would have been nice to get like a gold mug for my aesthetic when i'm drinking coffee but i felt like if nothing else i'm getting really oily um the grinch was super cute so i came to the shopping center now to go to wegmans and i saw that there was a there we go nordstrom rack so i'm gonna go in there. i really don't need anything but most of the time i feel like i'm in such a rush on sunday because i have so much to do when i get home and um i don't have to meal prep when i get home today so even though i need to prepare for tomorrow and it feels like it's getting late because it's it's 5 p.m but like the sun is setting and it's also like been rainy and cloudy all day i just want to like you know live in the moment enjoy and just do some some little shopping you know so i'm just gonna go in and see what they talk about and uh, then i'll go to the wegmans that's over there on the other side of the shopping center so let's see what we can find look at these y'all steve madden brown fifty dollars i don't need another pair of new shoes but these are so cute and they're put down see what it is. Okay, I have to come back here when I really want to shop because they have some great shoes. Ooh, yes, wind. <laughs> it feels so good out here now. It stopped raining. I don't know how the temperature didn't drop, but oh my gosh, the shoe selection. Like those pink boots were so cute, but like, where am I going? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like where, where would I be wearing bright pink boots at? Like not now, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I could not justify buying the 60 ish dollar pair of boots I think they were like 45 maybe 50 but then they were like in a size 11 that's what's crazy see and this is why I, t I say this all the time this is why I'm a shoeaholic and why I have so many shoes because what are the chances I'm looking for a boot like that but again why am I looking for anything <laughs> honestly what I needed to get during Black Friday were a pair of Uggs because that's what my uniform is going to be the next six weeks but they I mean they had a sale but it was like certain boots that were on sale and I just wanted the plain black ones so I'm gonna see if they have something for Cyber Monday because I'm like I don't, I'm not gonna get a an ugly pair or a color that I don't prefer I'm not gonna get a color that I don't prefer just because they're cheaper and on sale so yeah I had good discipline trying to look for parking space 
we're here at Wegmans now. I'm very curious um, because, I mean, I guess the parking lot isn't that packed. It's 520 now, so it's pretty late for Sunday um, grocery shopping. Hopefully everything isn't like, you know, all gone. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it's not, but I told you guys last time that I came to this Wegmans, it was so busy, it was so popping, there was a lot going on, and it was really kind of a... It was a lot to take in because it's a great grocery store. They have everything, but it takes you a while to go through like all the different aisles. And I just need to make sure that I stick to my budget. It's the end of the month. I cannot go over my grocery budget for this month because my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I don't have to cook for probably another three days. So everything needs to be, oh, excuse me, freezable. But then I need like basic things like I'm out of milk, I'm out of butter, um, I'm out of oatmeal, stuff like that. I'm out of egg whites. Again, I have a list, so I'm gonna stick to my list and hopefully not do too much up in here. Shopping at Wegmans, 92. Please select your payment. Okay, y'all, I'm here in my apartment now. I'm about to go and embarrassingly pick up these two freshly packages. And I'm also going to pick up my package from the mail room, I think. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna carry all of this stuff. I'm all ready. I got everything on my little cart here. I got my freshly boxes. I got my stuff from Target. I got my groceries. And now I just have to make it down the hallway. Tire. Okay. I I think I basically stuck to my budget for the grocery shopping. It cost basically what I thought it was gonna cost. I didn't get anything too crazy. Um yeah, just some things that I know they all need. <laughs> guys bad news i'm over here unboxing all the stuff that i just got and look what's on my align dupe sports bras on both of them <gasps> i don't know how i did not see that when i was checking out in the store and i went through self-checkout didn't i yeah that's why and it didn't go off Ugh. how did i not see this Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I guess I've been kind of in la la land. Now I'm going to throw away my trash and then we can put up the tree. Okay, so my skirt looks a little small <laughs> because I thought the tree was skinnier. This tree is 
way bigger than I thought it was. We're fluffing her out, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, it's so cute. I really don't even need to do ornaments on it for real. Does anybody else love an ornamentless tree? I will keep do, but I think the ornaments are gonna be cute. And what do you guys think about this placement? This is where it's at. Oh, I think it's gonna be really cute for when I study and I can look over here. Then I have my Christmas countdown on the gallery wall. So cute, but yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. I think, of course, it's always great to have it by the television, but I mean, there's kind of no room over there. Like, in here I'm so excited I'm very glad that I decided to do the tree it just gives me all of the vibes why is he slaying okay he looks so cute with little eyelashes so I just made myself some tea and I love that it comes with like a little hat as a top so it can I don't know I just think it's really cute so she's sitting over here I actually did like some aesthetic gold boxes to put under there but for now this works out so I can show you guys everything that they've been sending me and thank you so much to kiss for putting me on your PR list <laughs> this just feels so nice to be saying sometimes you know okay so so many things in here the first thing is we have a lot of these in press press on manicures so this one is like black and gold with some white accent nails and then this one is kind of like all neutral colors this is really good for the fall time um, these are my natural nails right now and they're so long um, you guys know I love me a good French but these are kind of too long for my liking I'm like really contemplating going to get them done again next week even though I try personally to like spread mine out like three weeks maybe four weeks especially if it's a French but they're just so long I just like them when they're short I just think they're really cute and classy but anyway yes come on inclusive what inclusivity Inclu inclusivity yes <laughs> very cute it's a lot of products in here I'm kind of scared the fact that there's two more boxes and they put this much in one box so these are okay more press on colors this one is in a pretty pink color and this one is like in a champagne kind of pink color both of these I mean all of these are really cute I would actually wear all of these if I were to cut off my nails um I have y'all know I did press ons for a couple of years in my life like I think on two times I cut off my nails and if my nails are ever really weak and I need to start over, I do press-ons. And these are the best ones because they're really easy to apply. They already have like, the sticker on it, so you don't need any glue. And um, they usually have really like simple designs, but they still are like just classy and beautiful, which I really like. Um, they also have, ooh, these are really cute, the Kiss Gel Fantasies. These you do need glue for, but it really looks like you have like fake nails. I love it because it's like a coffin shape and it's matte. These are called like the sculpted nails, which again, I would wear a pretty pink color with like a couple of accent nails that are sparkly. These are all really cute. Like I wish, <laughs> or maybe I should stop getting my nails done and just wear some press-ons. And they also have these, which are a part of their Velour Fantasy Magnetic Powder Effect. It'd be really cute for New Year's. I love a glittery nail for New Year's or even now the holiday time. Okay, then we have Lashes Galore. Wow, these are called Lash Drip. This is part of the Lash Couture line. This is in Royal Silk. Their Lash Couture line, this one is full and fluffy for a seamless contoured fit. These are called Chiffon. These are called Matte Sheer. This is also part of the Lash Couture line. I like these too though, I would wear them. I wanna see these on. Okay, these are the Sister Nature. 
Okay, so the, it's a paper box, paper tray. These are fluffy and wispy finish, 100% natural hair. Easy to wear, easier on the planet. MLBB line, so the My Lash But Better, everyday wearable volume with a super fine band technology. Ooh, these are the Triple Push Up XL. Um, I think it's in Chamise. I'm not gonna buy lashes for the rest of the year because <laughs> I don't need them. Oh, there's one more in here. Oh, you know what? These are the magnetic eyeliner ones. And they also sent me three different lash adhesives. So it seems really cool. Like you can just like line your lashes and then put the glue on top of it. I can't wait to try these because I love wearing lashes when I'm wearing like a real face face, but it's the hardest part of me doing my makeup. My eyes, you guys know, water really bad. And sometimes it just feels like the lashes are falling off and they don't stick. It feels like those would be really good for touch-ups as well. Anyway, we're going to open up next the Halloween box. Ooh, hot Halloween. Okay, so this one has like some dark nails in it. This is also the fantasy nails. Um, oh, we have these black nails. Fun fact, I've never done black nails before. <gasps> these are so so cute they're super long though i just talked about how i don't like long nails but these are cute because they're like i don't know if you can see them they're like silver and sparkly they're I'm like they have glow effect on them these are all like very dark but it makes sense these were for halloween some more impressed nails these are the ones that you don't need glue for Ooh, these are kind of cute though they're like dark green i like them at the top and then i don't know if you can see the bottom is kind of like iridescent really cute and then oh i've actually worn these before that matte black collection again but these babies are thick honey natural kind again clear and then one in brown this one is basically all lashes which is exciting and even like they gave me these tea packs so at this point if you see me in lashes you can definitely ask me what the lashes are but 10 times out of 10, they're going to be Kiss Lashes. Literally, oh, these are the Meredith Lashes. Oh, these are called Drunken Love Holiday Limited Edition. I like these. That's right up my alley. This is another one from Meredith. These, these are called Beauty Influencer. Ooh, these are cute. 4 a.m. A wing moment. These look like faux. It's called I Fancy You. These are probably my favorite angel eyes. Cause they're long but they're fluffy and they like taper skinny on the inside fluffy on the outside but like still have some length in the middle definitely gonna wear those soon i want to put these on so bad they're like coffin oh these are so cute these have like bedazzled they're very 3d this is giving like birthday nails special occasion dang these are really cute. These are very cute. This gives me like I would want to give it to my little cousin. It's like a light pink, but then it has like gingerbread men. And those are probably really pretty. That's exciting. Oh, this is new and interesting. It's called Lash Purify. It says make false lashes like new. Eye makeup remover and lash cleanser. This is different. I'm actually gonna put these boxes back underneath the tree because because I think it looks cute under there. <laughs> but I think that's enough for today. I'm sure this vlog is so long, but we've gone through a lot today. Hope you enjoyed it. So tomorrow we're gonna take the diagnostic MCAT. We're gonna see where we stand. And then the goal is to start and take it at like 8 a.m. Um, that way I'm done by, I think I'll be done by 3 p.m. And then I have a meeting with the admissions team at Meharry at 3. Not just me alone, like the entire MHS program. It's about preparing for medical school. So hope you guys enjoyed me enjoying my day. Um, my last day of freedom, getting into the holiday spirit. And then tomorrow we get to work. We continue on our journey getting into medical school. I will talk to you guys in the morning time. Oh,